Hey guys, we're here at Birch Mountain Highway 7 at a place called Zhang Zi. Uh, they actually serve a uh, hot pot. It's basically where you dump a bunch of meat and vegetables into a boiling pot uh, for cooking. And it tastes really good uh, depending on the spices that you take. Uh, actually, we're gonna go check it out right now with a bunch of the, uh, the other foodies. So let's go check it out. In the menu, so it's like a buffet style. Uh, basically, you have the options to put, pick different types of meat, uh, different types of vegetables. Uh, they range from uh, beef, pork. Uh, you can also get some uh, crab, some seafood. Uh, and at the end of the day, you put it into this boiling pot uh, with seasoning, and it comes out with something very delicious. They got a lot of fabulous things here. Like they got tripe, they got quail egg, uh, they got uh, pork blood tofu, which is delicious luncheon meat which is my favorite, uh, different types of noodles. One good thing that they also have are different types of seasoning which you would mix together uh, and you dip your meats to have that flavor. Alright guys we're here with Darren Diclo. What's up man? Uh, we're here for Diclo events. Uh, we're actually at Zhangzi. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Close enough so it's okay. Okay perfect and we actually got these uh, aprons and what are these aprons for? So these are for our splash guards so that it doesn't, because you know, hot pot can be a little bit messy when you plunk things down. So your nice clothing doesn't get wet and at the same time keeps your chest from smelling like hot pot. Yeah, because sometimes when you go to places that serve soup, you end up smelling like that place too. Yeah. Like some faux places, And, and right? some ladies love that, but not necessarily. Yeah. So. I mean, you can tell what you people have had yeah. by coming from those places. So these, these are really good. Doesn't mind, but. So we have the Zhangzi spicy soup base in the middle and then we have the nutritious tomato soup base on the outside of it. So when people are dipping in their beefs or any of their vegetables, uh, they have the option to have it either spicy in the middle or sweet on the outside. Uh, which is great because most places that you go to have the two individual ones, uh, but it's, it's not set, I guess, sectioned off just like this. I think this uh, section off is a lot better than most other places. And here comes ours, uh, where we ordered the mushroom and uh, bone soup base with the nutritious tomato soup base on the outside as well. So now we're gonna be choosing some of our dishes here. We got some fish balls, some squid, which I really do enjoy. Uh, they got the tofu, uh, and we're also gonna make some of our own sauces. So I'll show you guys everything on how we do that. If you want a little bit more flavor besides what your soup base is, uh, is mix some uh, sauce or make some sauce. What I like doing here is I like adding a saute sauce to mine uh, just because uh, I like the saute flavor. Uh, if you want, you can add some sesame paste. I just add a little bit of this sometimes. So, if you like some chili sauce, you can get some of that. No peanuts for today. Sesame seasoning. You gotta add a little bit of cilantro, get that flavoring in there. A little bit of spice. And then flavored tofu or flavored tofu. The main important thing that you also gotta do with this is you gotta get the egg. If you do not get the egg, it makes this sauce not worth it. You need an egg, a raw egg. From this side, you have different options of tripe that we looked at earlier, some beef tripe, some lamb tripe. I've never actually tried lamb tripe. I'm gonna try lamb tripe today. It's delicious. I love quail egg. Quail egg is really good as well. Probably get a couple of those. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I love, I love Luncheon meat, it's my favorite. Also known as Spam, delicious. Oh, okay. You wanna get some fried gluten? Sorry for all you people who do not like gluten. I love gluten. Fried gluten. See, he's going for that, he knows what's up. We got MJ Eats over here. Go follow him right over here. Cheers. We have Anthony, we have Mr. Ramen King over here. It's his birthday, guys, so uh, if you guys see it, happy birthday. Thank you. Some cured skin. You can get some curd puff, beef balls. You gotta get the beef balls, man. If you're making some soup, you gotta get beef balls. I've never seen this actually. This is uh, sesame oil. And the sesame fact that they're individual, I'm gonna try it out. Oh, the one thing that we did forget to get was garlic. I love garlic in mine. So the next selection is probably the healthy portion uh, where you're gonna be getting some nice vegetables. Uh, I love enoki mushroom, so we'll grab some enoki mushroom as well. Anytime you go to hot pot, you gotta get watercress. It's like one of those vegetables that you need to have. You gotta get the lotus root, taro, get one of these. Uh, so we got some beef slices going on. We don't wanna get too much because we don't wanna get too full because we got a lot of stuff already. We got spicy pork rib. 
and we have beef ribs. They got different flavors here. There's actually a lot. I might have to actually get a different plate because this is getting a little too full. Not a lot of other hot pot places offer you cooked uh, side dishes to go along with their meats. A lot of times it is usually raw when it comes in, so you're boiling it. Uh, but this one offers you everything on the side where it's cooked. You have the option of eating something cooked or something that you can boil at the same time. You know when uh, you have a bunch of grocery and you only want to make one trip? This is like this when you're at a buffet. You're only making one trip for now. All right, guys, we're finishing up here at Xiangzi. And uh, everything was delicious. Uh, we had a lot of meat, we had the lobster, we had the crab. Um, really enjoyed the chicken wings. They had a really good spice to it. And uh, that's it for the day, guys. Oh, and by the way, I just want to say thank you to Darren and Diclo for hosting the event, as well as thank you to Elko for uh, uh, providing us all the food here. Everything was delicious. Have yourself a great day, guys. Oh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. Here we go. This is really slow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>